If you guys have any questions, just type it into the chat bar and I'll keep an eye on that and we'll make sure your questions get answered. Kate Golda, take it away. So we're going to make this uh, felt photo pocket and it will wraps, or you could use it as a little I'll show you the finished product. So, um, oh, okay. <laughs> it's um has a leaf fall leaf theme, and the first thing I did um, was I collected leaves, and I um, just these are just copies of the leaves, and then I um, copied them on a copier at um, thirty percent and fifty percent because I knew that they needed to fit onto a piece that was this, this big. So um, then I chose my colors and this has four colors and I went with sort of a fall theme and um, colors that I chose and here are my little templates that I use. I don't glue it or pin it or anything, I just hold it in place. Made a there, ta da, finished. So I set those aside and then I cut out my um large piece of felt and I'm using a rotary cutter and that piece I actually made templates to cut from which I laid down and this was a this is seven by thirteen and this is six by three. So I cut those um, using a rotary cutter with a ruler. See the very few to see, but anyway, I cut it using a rotary cutter. Then once I have my pieces. I pin up that long piece. That up four and a half inches. It's four and a half inches up. And then I pinned it in both locations like that. So you can, then I usually set this aside and I will work on. The glue stick attach just temporarily attached. It's not um, a, but I glue then I stitch.
I really like to use contrasting colors when I'm I did a double running stitch, which basically means I did a running stitch in like so, and then I went back in to all the whole, I grab that, I go right into the, I go back and fill in all the space with the, uh, Then I just knot everything off on the back side, the side that won't show. And to attach the leaves, I did that for both of the, uh, both of the stems. To attach the leaves, I used a single thread, and I always use embroidery floss just because I like the colors so much. I use a single thread, which I to find that, oh, here it is, thread of gray. Back side. I always start on the back side, and I usually don't knock things off until I get all the way around, but then I start on the back, and I... ...up a little ways, about of a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more, back in like so. Oh, looks like we're having some sound issues. I'm going to just turn this on and turn this off, sorry. <laughs> That's okay.